Take a good look in the mirror. Tell me who, who do you see? Keep your head up. Reflect on who you are. Yeah, that's you, you. Bold as can be. Every feature on your face, your ears, your eyes, your nose, your teeth are as perfect as can be. So sing, I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm loved, I'm smart, and I'm you. today. Let's see. We'll start with this one first. It says, Dear Mrs. McGrew, you never talk about your life. Tell us what you know about you. Whoa. Oh, love a third grader. Oh my goodness, third grader. Well, thank you for the question. I love that you're so interested in me, Miss McGrew. I feel like I talk with you all the time and I'm so ex excited to share my life with you. One of the things I love about this distance learning format is that we get to know each other in a way that we don't get to see when we're in school. I've seen so many of you showing me how your room is decorated at home. I saw your holiday traditions, your Christmas trees, and I've been excited to invite you into my home, into my office, into our studio here, and share this time together. But since you feel like there's more you want to know about me, let me see. Hmm. When we're getting to know someone, what are some questions we might ask to help to get to know that person? Well, I know one of the first questions a lot of people ask is, what do you do? 
Well, what do I do? I'm a professional school counselor. I have the amazing privilege of working with students to help them to prepare for college and career and to be their very best selves. Um, I went into this job because I started as a classroom teacher and I thought it was so important that students had someone to talk to. I wanted to be that person who was available to listen without judgment, to hear all of the many things that students are going through because I truly do believe that you all, students, are people with big feelings, big dreams, and big problems, and you just need someone to be there to help you solve them. So that's how I got into this job. That's a question many people ask. Let's see, what else do people ask when they're getting to know someone? Oh, a lot of people might ask, what's your favorite color? Well, some of you might know my favorite color is pink. I love all kinds of pink, bright pink, baby pink, uh, powder pink, fluorescent pink, glowing pink, I love pink. But I also love all colors in general. I just like to keep things bright and exciting. Um, you may notice that here in our studio office, there's a lot of colors. Um, even my little ducky over here has a cute little rainbow umbrella and some polka dots on his umbrella because I like polka dots. Um, so that's something we might ask someone. Another thing we might ask somebody when we're first meeting them and trying to get to know them are, is what do you like to do? What are some things you do for fun? So if someone was asking me this because you wanted to know about me, um, I might tell people that I like to do arts and crafts. Um, I really, I've been learning how to do something called pouring resin lately, which is where you get to make jewelry and you get to make, um, pictures and sculptures out of a hardened plastic and it's glittery and fun. I like to do that. I like to play video games. Many of you have seen my computer and I like to play video games online with my dad. It's a great way for us to stay connected even though we don't live in the same place. I like to take my dogs for walks. I like to go for hikes out in the woods. Um, many of you have seen some of the videos where we've had an opportunity to go out in the woods together, to find some birds together. I really enjoy finding different birds of different colors and being out in nature. So those are a couple of the things that I like to do. Oh, I like to watch TV. I love movies. I love Disney. Um, the Little Mermaid is my favorite movie. Um, so yeah, those are a couple things about me and what I like to do. What do you like to do? So when I'm talking with someone new, I might find out about what they like. I might make connections. I know some of you like video games. I know that some of you like Disney like I do. I'm gonna try and find that connection. So I hope that you found some connections with me today through that question. What else might we ask someone when we're trying to get to know somebody new? We might ask them, where are you from? That's a great question. In terms of where did you grow up? Where, what's your culture? Um, what language do you speak? So I am from Prince George's County right here. Same place as you basically. I grew up around here. I lived in Hyattsville and then New Carrollton and then Greenbelt. I went to Prince George's County Public Schools starting in middle school. I went to Hyattsville Middle. I went to Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Greenbelt. And then I went to college. I moved up to Baltimore and I went to a school called Towson University. I got a degree in psychology, which is studying how the mind works and helping people. Um, and then I went to graduate school and got a master's degree at Loyola in Baltimore. Um, I've taught in Baltimore City, I've taught in DC, and now I'm here in Prince George's County. So that's where I grew up. 
Um, so that's just a little bit about me. I'd love for you to ask some more questions. What do you ask someone when you're trying to get to know them? It's great practice for us for when we get to get back out there and we start meeting new people again. How are we going to get to know them? And one of the best ways to do that is by asking questions. So third grader, thank you for asking a little bit about me. I hope that I answered a few of your questions. I'd love to hear if you have more and share um, some of my likes, some of the things that make me me with you. But let's see what else we had, because I know we had a few letters in there. So here we go. Yeah, we've got quite a few more. I guess there must be some that are easy to answer. That one was tough. All right. Oh! This one goes really well with the first one. Where is your family now? Love a kindergarten student. Thank you, kindergartner. I think that's another great question to help to get to know someone. Um, and thank you for asking. My family is actually spread out. Um, I do have Mr. McGrew here in the household with me. So Mr. McGrew and my two puppies, Caprica and Hitchcock and I have been spending a lot of time together, playing board games, watching TV. But as I mentioned earlier, um, I am uh, very close with my dad. My dad lives in Florida. He's from here in Maryland. Um, he also went to Prince George's County Schools, just like me, but he moved to Florida um, probably about 10 years ago, maybe a little longer now. And so I try to visit him when I can, and when I can't, I stay in touch with him using my computer. Um, my mom lives in Tennessee. She moved down there, I think I've told you before, when I was about 10 years old. And we stay in touch by, again, going and visiting. Um, we talk on the phone and stay in touch that way. My sister also lives down in Florida with my dad, so that's pretty much where my family is. I don't have a lot of family here in Maryland, um, but I have UC Pleasant family, so you get to be my family here. Thank you for asking, kindergarten student. It's another great question to get to know somebody. Um, let's see, I think we have time for one, maybe two more. Let's see what we have. We have two more. I'm going to go ahead and take both so that we can try and get to both of them. Oh, my mailbox lid doesn't want to go back on because it's so excited about getting your letters. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, I'm going to come back to this one because I think that's going to take a little longer to answer. Oh my goodness, this one's a longer one too. Do you watch Naturo or any other anime? Love a sixth grader. P.S. I also wanted to ask how you've been doing. It's been a long time since I've seen you in person. I hope you have a wonderful life. Love a sixth grader. Thank you, sixth grader. That is so kind. I definitely wish the same thing for you. Um, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. It's hard staying home. I miss my friends. I miss going out. I miss being able to go to the movies, but I have been trying very hard to make the best of this time at home by finding some other things that I enjoy. It's given me an opportunity to really get back into reading more and crafting more. Um, but thank you for asking. Overall, I'd say I'm doing really well. There are things I miss, but I'm doing really well, and I hope the same is true for you. You also asked me, do I watch any other anime? That's a tricky question. I do watch some cartoon shows. I don't think they're really anime. Um, I really want to watch My Hero Academia, but I don't have Hulu, so I don't get to watch that one. I've actually never seen Naturo, so I can't really comment on that. Um, I have watched some of the X-Men um, anime that's on Netflix. I really like that. I do like cartoons. I'm currently trying to watch all of the Star Wars saga, starting from the movies, watching all of the Clone Wars cartoon, and then watching all of the Rebels cartoon, and then watching all of the Mandalorian, and then some more movies. So that's a big project that I'm working on watching right now. 
but I'd love to hear your suggestions on some shows that you enjoy, um, especially some anime that I can check out. Um, but thank you for asking that. Now back to the question that I said I'd come back to. What is your New Year's resolution? Love a fifth grader. Thank you for asking, fifth grader. You know what? This year I decided to do something different. Every year I usually try to make some New Year's resolutions. That's when we pause and we think about what is my goal for the New Year. And when we're setting a goal, we typically do that by making a SMART goal. We think about making it specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. But I found that sometimes it's very hard for me to keep those New Year's resolutions. I start pumped up and excited, and then I kind of forget about them. And so I don't usually keep to them the way I'd like to. I wonder if any of you have found that or ever feel the same way. So this year, um, like we talked about last week in our videos, I decided to do a vision board. This way it's something visual that I can see that inspires me. So instead of setting very specific goals for myself, I've set some big ideas of things I wanna do. So I finished mine and I'm gonna share it with you. So here is my vision board. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall today. And I'll share just a couple of the things that I am going to be working on this year. One of the big ones here is you see it says Creative Triumphs. I've mentioned it a few times. Um, it's been many years since I've really spent a lot of time crafting and making things with my hands, and I find that I really like that. It helps me to reduce my stress, it helps me to get my feelings out, and it makes me feel very relaxed. So one of my big goals this year is to be creative more often, and I'm going to try and do that at least once a week. Uh, reading. So last year I was able to read 20 books, so this year I'm going to try and up that and see if I can get to 25 books. But more important than the number of books I read, I want to make sure I'm making time to read every day. So that's a big goal for me. Um, I do want to go back out on vacation again. I really hope that I can get out on some adventures and see more of the world this year. Um, let's see. Continuing to make a difference. I hope that these videos make a difference, that my lessons make a difference, and I want to really stay focused on remembering why I do what I do. And that is because I believe that the work that I'm doing matters and that it is important for everyone to learn to believe in themselves and to have opportunities to express themselves and to be successful. Um, I think I told you before I want to work on my garden um, and really make that a calming space where I can go to more often. So by making this instead of a New Year's resolution, for me, I'm hoping to stay more inspired this year. Well, friends, we have spent so much time together getting to know a little bit more about me, about my background, about my hopes and dreams for this year but I look forward to continuing to get to know you more. Keep writing to me, keep telling me what are you working on, what are the questions you ask when you're getting to know someone more. Tell me, did you enjoy getting to know me a little bit better? Do you feel like I answered some of your questions or do you still have more? I would love to hear your feedback because this time is all about you and making it meaningful for you. Remember to take a chance to get to know somebody deeper, to ask them questions, and to explore who you can really connect with, even in this time. I appreciate you. Remember those affirmations. You are brave. You are smart. You are loved. You are unique. And I'm so glad you were here today. Until next time, this has been Moments with Miss McGrew. Bye.